Hi, I'm Alex, welcome to my channel. Today we're taking a look at the Canon EOS 500M, which I take out while I hike to the peak of Church Mountain here in Wicklow, Ireland. The Canon EOS 500M is a 35mm film camera. Originally introduced in 1996, it was known as the new EOS KISS in Japan and the EOS Rebel G in the United States. The body is completely made of plastic, making it lightweight at only 370 grams, although it does give it such a cheap feel. However, just like a cheap feel, I like it. It's currently a very inexpensive camera. You can find them on eBay for about 15, 20, 30 euro. Um, just for the body alone, you can get it paired up with a lens and that will cost you a bit more, um, depending on which lens it is. But the camera does fit EF lenses. And if you use a Canon camera at all, you probably do have a few EF lenses hanging around like I did. The lens that I'm shooting with in this video is the Nifty 50, the 50mm f1.8. For no other reason than I just like to shoot with a 50mm lens. It's what I've used most and I just feel very comfortable with it. The 500N has six basic modes. So you have your full auto, portrait, landscape, macro, sports and nighttime. Along with that you have your more complex modes, which would be your P mode, TV, AV, uh, manual and ADAP. P stands for mode. It means basically that the camera does all the work for you and you just have to point and shoot. And it's the mode that this bitch decided to use. Partly because I wanted to focus on getting up the mountain and partly because I've never used this camera before and I just want to test out all of the features in it. So maybe in another video I'll move on to a different mode and we can see how that works out. But for this one I just stuck with the P mode. And it's also my very first time using a camera that winds to film for you automatically because um, I'm so used to using the AE1 and the Canon Pelix. Um, and it also reads the ISO for you too, the ISO speed, um, which makes it feel kind of futuristic for something that's really quite old at this stage. The film that I'm using as usual is Kodak Portrait 400. It's uh, the best 35mm film stock. And if you think otherwise, I dare you to say to my face, because I'm not afraid to cry. I first left my hike by struggling to take my camera out of the bag, and then I stare into the back of it for much longer than this edited clip, trying to figure out how to load up the film. I brought with me my Fujifilm X-T3 and the DJI Mavic 2 Pro to record the footage. With the 500N loaded up, I was on my way and ready to take photos of the moon that was out well past its curfew. Even though it was a really bright day, the sun wasn't doing anything to melt these frozen ponds that I found and just these frozen puddles as well that had these really nice textures in them. The route up to Church Mountain actually crossed onto private land which you couldn't trespass onto. So I had to find an alternative route uh, that involved me not going onto the private property. This alternative route that I definitely took brought me through the forest where I stepped into a large puddle and soaked my feet, which is what I get. With my feet freezing and soaking wet, I stopped to take a few photos of the forest and dropped my lens cap. The first photo that I took here actually contains part of the frame of the previous photo of the sheep in the field. Now I don't know if this happened because of the camera or if this is just something that happened in the lab when they were developing it, but it didn't happen to any of the other photos. After this I exited the forest, fired off a few more shots, and reorientated myself. Midway up I stopped taking the view over Wicklow. Um, I was really lucky to get such a beautiful day for this because the very next day and the previous day were absolutely miserable days. The only part of the 500M that I was using uh, manually was the focusing because I found that the autofocus with it was really hit and miss. Sometimes it was perfect, other times, you know, it, it, it would just struggle.
Carrying on up the trail, I found what looked like the area where my body would be discovered. But upon a little bit more nosying and further inspection, I think it was just a little hut that hunters would use to scout out deer and hopefully not wandering photographers. Either way, I snapped a few more photos that could be used in evidence if uh, my camera was found while a search party was out looking for me. I guess you should have been honest and breaks in my heart. It's weighing me down, baby. I'm like a river that's overflowed. The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt. Let me speak the truth I know you don't want to face it I then pushed on, stopping at another shelter that was knocked over. I can see past the rain Won't you lay it on me Turn the page and burn it Let's make up Each step up, the air was getting colder and colder, but the snow was starting to crunch and underfoot. And at last, I had finally made it to the top. Throw our problems in the flames. We fell down to the bottom. So bottom up, please. We're gonna get over this. I see the smoke in the mirror. One step away from salvation Church Mountain was home to a very early church and you can see that we have this hollowed out area that reveals the foundations of it along with where a well was. Hold me like this is the first time Our destiny calls Not leaving this incomplete Won't you lay it on me Turn the page and burn it Let's make up a big bonfire On the beach with the stars as our lighters And throw our problems in the flames Throw our problems in the flames view from the peak is absolutely breathtaking. My plan was to get up there, uh, shoot all the footage I wanted to do, you know, all the photos, all the drone stuff, uh, just a bit of b-roll with the camera, and then I would stop and just have my lunch up there. But it was absolutely freezing, and at that point my hands had just gone completely numb. I couldn't even feel the shutter been pressed in. So uh, I had to head straight back down. And then once I'd gotten back down to the safety of the forest, I uh, found some mushrooms, which uh, appeared just in time for my lunch. With just a few shots left in the roll, I decided that the best subjects would be those sheep that I found at the very start of the trail, and uh, they kind of loved the camera. Overall I'm quite happy with how the 500N performed on P mode. Most of the shots were quite good, uh, some of them didn't you know, quite make it, but I'm looking forward to taking it out again and shooting entirely in manual. I think that this will really give me a good feel for what the camera can really do. If you're a tourist uh, just hanging around Wicklow and it's a nice clear day, I'd absolutely recommend going up Church Mountain. Um, 
just the sense of accomplishment and the view is so worth it after going up such a steep incline. Even if that does mean that you need to find an alternative route that doesn't go over private property, like I definitely did. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more, you can subscribe or follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you in the next one.